Hey, what's up guys? I'm back. So today we're gonna do a little bit different. We're not gonna sit here and talk about this. Some of you only wanna see this. We're not gonna talk about this, this Lamborghini Huracan supercharged. What we are gonna talk about, so we wanted to get a new vehicle for the family, something that made me and the wife happy. Uh, so we had to compromise and get two that made me and the wife happy. So we picked up this GMC AT4 Carbon Edition right here behind me. Now we picked it up Sunday, Saturday, and uh, my wife said, hey, uh, we're gonna leave this thing stock. Well, those of you that know me, I agreed, and we're gonna leave it stock. She didn't say for how long. So, in an effort to leave it stock, I left it stock for like three days and I got this it's a course of cold air intake course of exhaust so I'm gonna give you guys a cold start and then we're gonna change the exhaust out I'm not doing a damn tutorial video it's not hard to install an exhaust you guys know how you don't need me to show you how to unbolt six bolts and put them back in, but I will do a cold start and then a cold start with the new exhaust. So here we go, check it out. Here's the cold start on this mofo. So, y'all heard that, right? A 6.2 liter V8 sound like four banger. We're gonna fix that. Stay tuned. And a Carbon Pro GMC AT4, it's a good truck. I've already put a bunch of miles on it because I had some personal stuff to deal with that I told you guys about. So I made a drive, a long ass drive, there and back. 12 hours there, 12 hours back. It performed great except for the whole 17 miles per gallon, that 100 mile an hour cutoff crap. But I'm trying to get that fixed, we're working on that next. So we're gonna do a cold air intake by Corsa and the new exhaust by Corsa. Here comes a cold start, coming at you in just a few minutes, peace. So guys, here's the stock exhaust. That's the muffler. That's the rear exits. You keep the stock tips. But here's the new Corsa. That's one of the pipes. That's this part. And then boom. So we don't have those resonators in the back. Cleaner setup. So far, so good. We're at 10 minutes to remove the stock, so that's not bad. All right, guys. So we got the new exhaust installed. Uh, let's just see what it sounds like. My wife caught me too. Uh, she still didn't realize I had that in the garage, so, but oh well. She don't watch the videos, so we'll get over, we'll, we'll get out of trouble. things going again just getting some motivation getting going boom 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 uh, as you see we got the Huracan things are about to change on the Huracan but today we're gonna jump in a truck I bought for work it's a 2020 GMC AT4 uh, we got a course exhaust on it and I'm gonna do the review and install on it but here's the cold start of it I did another cold start but let me give you a little bit better It's broke. Nah, I messed up. It's my fault. So that's the cold start on the Corsa. I think it's the K 
cat-back, yes, yeah, the cat-back system. The GMC AT4 is a really, really good truck. Uh, me and my brother actually just took it and drove. Well, I bought it, it had 20 miles on it. It's got 2180 now. So we, we bought it and we put some miles on it. So the beauty about the truck is it's super quiet inside. So you gotta love that. But I'm gonna give you some real world thoughts on the exhaust. Hang tight. Also, my thoughts on the course exhaust. Before I get into that, remember, like, subscribe. I'll give you just a second. You done? Did you get it? Click the bell notification so you know when all new things are coming out. But remember, like, subscribe, that's really important. We got the merch line up. It's actually below in the description. Uh, the detail spray and detail company I use also in the description. I park up front app. If you guys aren't using that, it's fine to me. You're losing your mind. But my thoughts on the Corsa exhaust. And I got a discount on the exhaust. And you guys know everything I do, I try to do honest. Give you a real world review. Not the fluffed up BS that everybody gives you. Your first impressions of the Corsa. When I first cold started, I was super impressed. I loved it. I was like, oh my God, the truck's alive. Because when you get these trucks from the factory, they don't really sound like a V8. And this has the 6.2 in it. After driving it around town and as it warms up, like right now, let's roll the window down. It's got a little bit of throat to it. But as you can see, it sounds like a, not this stock exhaust, but stock like it used to be before this body style. I think it's a huge waste of money. Part of my channel is being real with you guys. It's real talk with Matt. And this exhaust is a total waste of money. It's uh, probably the worst thing I've ever spent money on, to be honest with you. Uh, of course I didn't send me this for the review. I, I spent money and good amount of money and I got a discounted rate because they know I'm gonna do a review on it. But it's garbage. Even with the discounted rate, I feel like I just threw money into the wind. Uh, as it quietens down, it has no real throaty sound. As it warms up, it has no, no oomph, no V8 sound, no, nothing to make you want to drive the truck more than just, hey, I'm in a comfortable truck that's really, really nice. Um, it's just garbage. It literally, when you take it apart, as you can see in the video, it looks just like they took a stock muffler. They didn't even stamp it. They didn't even have the pride to stamp Corsa anywhere on this exhaust system. So if that tells you anything, the box 100% says Corsa, but Corsa's a big brand and they didn't stamp this exhaust anywhere. It literally looks like they took a stock muffler, repackaged it, made it where you could make it a slip on and deleted the resonators. You could do that at a muffler shop for about 80 bucks, 100 bucks tops. So, as I waste money and do this, I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit. It's not gonna make me any happier as it breaks in. It's not gonna get any louder, uh, not a crazy ton louder, nothing to make it be like, oh man, it's alive. It's, that's not gonna happen. And Josh Shop will tell you, usually after 100, 150 miles, you start to see the uh, the break-in. It's done. Some say 500, but that's bullshit. Uh, don't waste your money on the course, guys. I can't give you 100% hey, the Borla Attack or the Borla S-Type or the Borla Touring is a better exhaust system because I, I haven't reviewed it. I don't know. I haven't even seen one on one of the new trucks yet so there's a ton of videos out there uh, and i'm in talks with borla to do something with them to take this junk off and put something else on it has a little bit see but we're still not warmed up and it's just 
just sounds like a stock truck. Not this stock truck because they way quieten this truck down, but a stock old body truck. It's just not impressive, guys. So that's all my talks and BS and tell you how I feel about the Corsa exhaust. And like I said, everybody who stuck with me this past week and a half, two weeks of not really uploading a ton of videos, I apologize for that and thanks for sticking with me. We still have the giveaways coming up. Uh, if we hit the 100,000 subscribers, someone's gonna get $1,000. Uh, if we hit a million, which I doubt it, we're, what, this is March, mid-March, and uh, I mean, we got some good momentum, but uh, it's gonna be a struggle to get to the 100,000. But if we happen to hit a million, if I do a video you people actually like, uh, and we get going, uh, I'm gonna give away $10,000 if we hit a million plus the other thousand dollars. So we're gonna be at $11,000 January 1st, 2021. So keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out. Hope it don't make you waste your money on a Corsa exhaust. And if I get in trouble by Corsa, it was nice doing videos for you guys. Peace.